people are going to listen to CDs and stuff all day, but you know what I'm saying? You really got to go to a real concert live. We have front row video of the whole entire concert, ladies and gentlemen. Vlog, POV, front row. Doc Doc I'm trying to inspire people in the community. Go out, do things. If you don't have a life, you know, go out, do events. You know, it's really fun, you know? We'll be uh, with Brown tomorrow reviewing some of this, the uh, concert footage, but I'll be reviewing some of the concert footage here tonight as well. It's literally, we were here next to me. SC Steve was next to me. Real life friends. Thank you. There was even points where the, the guitars didn't play, and they had to you know, press different pedals. You know, shit was wires were work not working. So uh, it's live music, no backing tracks, no pre-recorded, nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just cool, totally live, raw. Uh, great band of the '80s, one of the one of the important band of the '80s. Don Doc and George Lynch. From the very start of the show to the very end, here it is. wants to join in watch this with me uh let me know brown's tired we'll, get, we'll uh, speak on this tomorrow but uh call up if you're uh watch it and questions concerns comments questions concerns comments if anyone wants to call up bring the greatest vlogs community right here on the program you know what I'm saying here we go choppy in and out here and there but Texas uh, watching this with me it was an unlisted YouTube stream I was making sure, he was making sure the video was coming out clear and audio, so I was telling him, hit me up, you know, Skype me, don't call, nothing, and let me know, you know, if it's looking clear, the video. Front row, ladies and gentlemen, Don't right there. Don't close your eyes. Yeah. Don't close your eyes. Is a song on that. Keep 
in mind there was two huge speakers right in front of me. The PA speaker, so. So, I mean, it was blasting. I was literally front, front row there. Thank you, Keith. something else here gotta get some more it it gets clear but it's just the internet stuff you know what i'm saying this is lynch here it's pretty <laughs> Here we go. How about this. Could be good. <laughs> sensation. Keith, you want to explain basically what went down tonight, what you helped with, and everything? Oh yeah, yeah. So um, uh, I, YR said, uh, hey, join me for this concert, and I, I did, and I was in the why I was in the front row. It was like I was there with YR. I needed right? you for the. What did I need you for? Video Help. and. 
Yeah, video, audio. Make sure video is good, audio is good. Thank you. You're basically the tech guy for tonight, and you're gonna yes. join us. You're gonna join us special edition here, special yep. guest. You know, for the night. You know, he was there with me in this whole entire concert. That's right. And let's skip around here because we're gonna review some stuff with Brown tomorrow. Footage you can use for DVDs they sell and shit. So yeah. This is some good, good footage, folks. Yeah! Good to breaking the chains. Where's that one at? One of my favorite videos we did was going down Sunset Boulevard and fucking drop that truck. You almost got killed, but he probably ain't shit there. Breaking the chains. Breaking the chains. And you hear they, they talk between the songs. Keats, what do you think about them talking between the songs? I think it's good. Like given um, a backstory, given a um, kind of given like a backstory of the songs each time, you know. Where they play. Yeah. I can't hear the video on Skype. Oh, shit, my bad. I forgot to turn it on. Okay. Can you hear it? Yeah. Breaking the chain. I was in Germany in 1980. Boys, when I 
and try to come up with a song about never give up. Life is good, just gotta keep pushing along. A little song I think after all these years is still pretty fucking cool. A little song called Breaking the Chain! Yeah! That chick's number behind me with the hat, by the way, Keith. Oh, wow, that's cool. She was 55. 55. Videos coming in a little. Uh. What do you mean, ah, oh, nigga? Let me get you. I don't know. You want, a, you want a docking shirt or no? Nah. You still got. I, the, oh, the, you can't. I can't hear it on Skype now. I know. I'm not playing it right now. I'm trying to okay. give it some. Trying to let it chill because it's. Picture's not clear. I try to want to okay. make a log of this. Concert logs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Live concert logs. Um, we might do... Might have to go... Um, what's his name? Lil Wayne and Usher are supposed to be doing a tour. So we might have to do that. Um, wow. You know, take the video. Okay. And stuff. Oh, that'll be cool. Would you like to be associated with something like that? Yes. Yo, know, I got so many, like, MILF's phone number, because it is an older band. 45-year-old, yep. this 55-year-old chick, and then, like, chick, she was, like, 73 or 72. Um, uh, you know. She looked like she was 35, 36. Wow. Hot, hot tan MILF's. Big hooters, yeah, that's hot. big old hooters. You know what I'm saying? Yep. A couple dudes there with some big old black schlongs. What do you think about that? Uh, whatever. Thank you. I want to play that song, bro? That's one of my favorite songs. It's clear on here. It's more clear right here. George Lynch is about to come out. S.E. Steve, did y'all see that? Hold on.
You see SC Steve? SC Steve is there with me. Was there? Yeah, he remember he said he was coming to Texas or Florida. So I ended up getting a pick from this guy, um, and it, he, when he threw it, it bounced off my head. And the guy next to me, the SC Steve guy, he said he was really he wanted a pick really bad. He kept like begging him and shit. So, but I got it first. You know, it bounced off my forehead and ended on the ground, and I got it. And then the guy next to me, I was like, "All right, if I get one, I'll give it to you." You know what I'm saying? Because he was like begging. He like asked that guitarist like five or six times, like, "Please, please have a pick, please, please, please." And the guitarist like, "I got you. I promise. I promise. I promise." And so played a couple songs, and you know, threw another pick, and then he ended up getting one. So, but the oh, drummer, wow. That's the, nice. the drummer from the George Lynch band, like he was drumming and he broke a drumstick. And it shattered, and then one of the stage, I think it was one of the, uh, the bassist or the stage hand handed it out, but the lead singer was fist pumping, and he was um, everything on the opening band, which we have some more videos of. Let's get, this is a big song, this is one of the big hits in my dreams. Um, can you look up what year that is, Keith, please, and what album that came yeah. off of? Dokken, In My Dreams, D-O-K-K-E-N. Get those numbers from Keith and then Let's see, nineteen eighty five. What album on that, brother? Uh John um oh, I just Under Lock and Key. Oh, so that's not you said nineteen eighty five. So that's their third album. Yep. Thank you. Yo. Yep.
Skype off so no one would interrupt me. I turned Skype, I, uh, I deleted the Skype app. I'll turn it back on, but so no one would interrupt me. <laughs> Is everything cool tonight? Really all right? Yeah! Did you get your free so? I'm going to get shit on this like screen too. Who thought I was drinking a drink today? How are you doing, Scott? Wow. That's the one you got? Same thing? Yeah. You're still going to hit Fox? The other guy, as George Lynch, the other guy was asking me if it was the same pick. Yeah, he touched all the same pick. George Lynch, there we go. $6,000 guitar, I think. So, that's the Kiss of Death song. So, there's going to be parts where he, um, so, you know, there's different pedals you use when you use electric guitar and the amp and all that. Um, to make different sounds, so there's a point to where there's a short, you know what I'm saying? That's all live music, that's that's what concerts and it's all about. Um, mm. you know what I'm saying? And they I mean, obviously, they fix it, but that just happens on stage sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, no pre, that's all live, no pre recorded tracks because all, all the rap concerts is it's pre recorded tracks, you know what I'm saying? Big song. They never reunite like this. Only special shows. It's basically like an understudy of uh, Eddie Van Halen. You know what I mean? One of the big guitar heroes of the 80s, you know what I'm saying?
Thank you so much. Keys, comments, questions, concerns, quickly. Nah. Big song. And it comes down. Christian song. There you go. All you Christians out there. My fist, you know what I'm saying? When the camera shakes. Gotta pump that fist. No, I don't know. Uh, you're not on the show. Are you mad at me? Are you cool? What's up? Oh, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to someone else that just called in. Okay. They can't hear you. Who is it? I know who this is. Uh oh. Someone's trying to call in. Uh oh. This is not good, Keith. Nikki Nines? No. Worse. I, uh,. I'm just going to add him in. Ken? Worse. Jill Bowden? Worse. Oh my god, I don't know if this, I don't know if this. Oh my god, I don't, is it, are you okay? Is everything okay? Saw so docking. Yo, so what do you think about this so far? Do we have no lives? Or those guys are fat and they suck. It didn't mean... even sound like the real song. Didn't even sound like the real song, bro. Wow, you know shit all over my Yeah, fuck you. Everything about Keith. Like, he's a fucking idiot. I'm gonna hit him with a pile driver. Keith opinions about bars? I don't care. Shut your fucking mouth, Keith. Don't say shit to me. Don't oh, crow's nest take I'll, over. Crazy on take over. Yes. I want you to listen very carefully. Talk about Dave. Fuck you. <laughs> Talk about Dave or. Come on. Did you, Dave did a review of the Grey Zone show from the other day. Did you hear that? No, he left. Oh, why did he have to interrupt the show like that? See what I mean, Dave? Look at that, Dave. Unbelievable. I'm going to restart that song. Keith, comments, questions, concerns? Keith, are you there? We don't hear you. Bars just ruined the whole call. Go ahead and add, go ahead and add some people and we can join us with the concert here. Can you hear me now? Yes. Are you okay? All right. Yo, I, I heard what Jake Vars said about me like two weeks ago. What did he say about you? He said he's starting his own channel and I'm not allowed on it. Are you, are you going to whoop his ass? No. Nah. Did you want to tell the people that we did talk to Jacob RP? Yeah, we did talk to Jacob RP. Privately. It was good. Yeah, privately. It was a good call. Uh... It was, I think it was a productive call. Thank you. You're welcome.
so much. Let's hear from George Lynch. Go add Dr. Brown. Wake him up. Tell him emergency. second hear that? okay I hear, it, I hear it gotta go back to that one part I hear it. use that whammy bar that was badass that wow. yeah
George and I like to do this thing sometimes, it's called Freeform. We don't know what the fuck's going to go on, we just start playing and I start singing. You don't want to do that? No? Yeah, start recording these, and John will go these fuck.
We're gonna go through a couple more songs. Um, let's do. Gotta go through the Hunter, from, uh, the album Under Lock and Key, and we're gonna go through. I want to still. We gotta do the uh, Breaking the Chains, and then I want to hear. There's some most more solo George Lynch band stuff. Um, we'll play tomorrow with Brown and stuff too. But I want to hear the Breaking the Chains. We gotta hear that one. Any requests in the chat? Any Dawkins songs you like that you want to hear live? I mean, that was great camera work right there by me. That was fantastic. That was crazy. That shit they put on, like, make tapes and cassettes and DVDs, like, that is crazy how I got that. Oh, my God. All for you, community. You know what I'm saying? The whole damn concert. Gonna go. Let's sign up. Let's see. Um, breaking the chains. Let's see if we can get through that. Now some of the um, the videos glitchy here and there, but it turned it turned pretty clear at the end there. But if there's spots that it's you know what I'm saying. Better than most. I don't see anyone in the community doing this. This is the first. This is a special thing. We're moving on up. XM Satellite VH1 MTV VH1 Classic. Uh, Keith, uh, questions, comments, yeah. concerns? Uh, no. Thank you. All right, that's the song. Um, yeah. I was giving y'all little clues here and there. I was playing some Dawkins like for the past fucking couple months. You know what I'm saying? We'll bring you classics here. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to be going to no Snoop Dogg or 
Little John and the East Side Boys over there, Keith. No Eminem concerts over here. You know what I mean? I... If you go, then you can... I don't know. May, never mind. It's probably not allowed. You can't film at concerts, Keith. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Thank Why you. not? I don't know. Ask Nicky Nines and others. Thank you. Okay. Ask, ask Extreme Shaft. Thank you.
like if y'all listen if y'all out there have the um get them even made in cardboard you can order them in cardboard the vr virtual reality headset for your phones okay and if you type in if you watch if you go on youtube on your phone you can click like the three button like one of the uh you click on the video i think you click the three button you can watch you go down it says watch in vr right you click down and it comes up these two screens and if you have virtual reality you put it in the, you know it's like a box you wear on your on your um eyes they come in you can get them for like eight bucks on amazon they come in, you can buy them in cardboard or you can obviously they make the plastic ones they're all prices but basically it's just like a magnifying glass type thing keith are you here yeah i'm here okay so it's like a magnifying glass thing basically and so when you're looking at your phone when it's on the vr oh, mode shit. when it's on the vr mode in youtube um it looks you know it has two different screens but you you know put it sideways you put it in the virtual reality headset because they make them for phones and you can it'll be like you're in you it'll be like you're there in virtual reality with that with this so yeah if you have a virtual reality headset you know that perfect great video here recording it'll be like you're there honestly Try that out if you have those out there. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm going to try it right now. Hold on. Keith, any soft stool, hard stools lately? Uh, Hard stool. All right. I got it set up. So literally, you could do it on your phone. Um, Depends on what phone you have. Maybe. I don't know. Cause I don't, uh, all right, replace, place the phone, see how it has the two? Yeah, I'm doing it right now without the headset. Oh, you found the mode? You can find the mode that's on your phone? Yes. You put it in. I have an Android, so... You click the three dots or yeah. two, two or three dots at the top right. Texas, so, you know, don't fuck with Texas, you can love your rock and roll. No more Texas! Yeah! Welcome to Jay. Why is it upside down on my phone? You gotta screw around with it and stuff. Okay. Know. We're gonna fucking AT and T. Come on. Mm. I mean, you could screw around it to where I mean, it's a smaller. Screen yeah. yeah. Screen, but Get the cardboard up in order to configure your VR. Alone, around, Maybe you were gone. Oh. I can play that riff.
looking up on YouTube on Crimson TV is me and uh, Robert just talking about all kinds of shit. <laughs> so it was like, you know, really a lot of fun making that video. And Wait, Robert why? Said, Who's that little girl? I said, Dude, Patricia Arquette, man, she was nobody. Which man, not me. Why are? Yes, honey. Wait, uh, which which phone should I get? Should I get a OnePlus or a Pixel? Google Pixel, yeah, get that one. OnePlus is like okay. some like some damn Ukrainian brand or something. You know? All right. LG, can you tell the people about the news about LG? Oh yeah, it, LG uh, is not making phones anymore. They haven't been making phones for like a year or something, and they're because they they're focusing more on selling TVs. And uh, so anyone with an LG phone, like they're going obsolete. They're not updating their server, and stuff on your LG phone is not going to work eventually, uh, real soon. So if you have an LG phone, get a different brand. People, uh, let's start adding people to the call. It's late night. Um, okay. I mean, let's do, go down a list of who you would potentially add. Let's see if we can, you know, tell me now who do you think you, you could add. Bird. 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 Go ahead and do that. Bird. I'll, I'll let you know if we should or not. Bird, yes. Uh, uh, C Man. No. Derailed Gatekeeper Drew. He's live right now. I don't know. All right. Um, Let me see. Listen, I oh, have. Oh, that? I have no plans on talking about those other guys over there. The twin towers okay. over there. Um, All right. From this point for a while, honestly. I mean, I know everyone says that a thousand times, but yeah. hey, add Junebug. Um, but All right. you know. I had plans on going to more sporting events. Um, yeah. Will I be at the Mavs game coming up tomorrow? Who knows? Will I be at more concerts, more baseball games, more? Did I get season tickets to football games? I don't know. We'll see. I'm just, you know, we have a life here. All of All of us have lives. We didn't have lives or, you know, your heart would not be beating, you know. So we all have lives and we all have our different hobbies and stuff. And I just want to inspire people, you know, it's not all about the Internet. It's not it doesn't have to be. I know we get glued and stuck to all this drama, whatever, in this community. But when you go out and do things, whether it's go to wrestling events, right, which a lot of most people do in this community, that's what they do. It's wrestling events or something. Yes, um, sir. Didn't do it like there's, life is short. Like go out fucking, you know, you don't have to spend five hundred dollars on on a thing. Go go, you know. There's fifty dollar tickets here and there for different events. I mean, go go to your local stuff. Go to you know, cross town, whatever. Um, live music is, and rock and roll is not dead at all. But um, Mr. Junebug, are you free right now? Or are you? I I had to take a quick shit break. I'm on the toilet oh, as we speak. Sweet. So is this gonna be a soft stool or is it a hard stool? Yeah. Oh, it's hard, brother. Fuck. Wow. You be drinking a lot of milk and cereal? No, soda. That'll oh. do it, folks. Why? Because I need the caffeine, bro. I stopped the energy drinks. So caffeine from Pepsi is actually a good alternative. Does, does, um, kind of look like, I'm trying to look big, bad, and hard, and, and tough like uh, Tony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so just shit it out of baby's arm. So, I'm. I'll be are, are you drinking regular, regular mm -hmm. Pepsi or Diet Pepsi? Regular. Okay. Junebug, did you want to speak on the last of the Scott stuff? He's bringing you up. I mean, do you have anything to do with it? Like, I know you're. You know, he's blaming you for stuff or whatever. Like, you want to say your piece here, and we'll be done with it and all that. I don't know. Like, I don't. He was saying that. Um, I that barely I'm watched that show today. I mean, people were sending me clips in here and saying review it, review it. Like multiple people and the uh, some, oh, of, the minnow, some I, of the minnows I, out there. But Dave took care of a lot of stuff today. He reviewed a lot, and you know what I mean. So I need to go back and see because obviously I was at a concert a couple hours ago. So um, he fucking like 
said shit that happened like in fucking June 2020, like when I was doing PS4 streams. Okay. Where I was not about the drama at the time. Right. And then he was like, Oh, he exposed me for being the biggest troll. Like, bro, I was I was trying to hide from you because you're fucking crazy. That's right. what it was. And um apparently I'm a part of all the trolls. He blames everybody, dude. He blames you, me, fucking Keith. He'll even well, blame I a cop. Did, now people do you know, people were messaging me, oh, you have sub-only mode on and off. You know, it was on. And then I was like, yeah, I, I did a little test tonight. And yeah. look what happened. You know what I mean? It's like a pattern thing. He's and watching. Dude, he'd be up at this time. I know. You know. Someone else was uploading videos right at the time that, you know, we were live yeah. tonight. And it happened. So, um, and Bullfrog, I, I don't think, I don't think he, um, Wants nothing to do with you, Junebug. Honestly, um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking around. But people are saying he's in the chat and everything. That's not him in the chat. That's, no, that's not. That's a friend of of um, what's his name? Um, the good, the bet, one of the best guys in the community, and he's in the crow's nest. I'm not gonna name his name. But okay. he's cool, and he just wants to be anonymous. But he everything's cool. He has a wrench and everything, but he's cool. Um, the crow yes. nest, it's a crow's nest member that no one knows about. So, like, they know him in the community, but, like, they don't. You know what I'm saying? He's not out there like that. But he's been on a couple shows here and there, like, you know, in the past, like, three or four years. A couple on Joe shows, a couple on Ken's, and a couple times on mine. But crow's nest member, and uh, that's who... People think Bullfrog is not him, so. Uh, Bullfrog's not that, you know, not to make fun of the guy, but he's not that intellectual. <sighs> How do you say, like, a person that could speak fluently? That makes sense? Yeah. You're right, he's not intellectual. Yeah, but, um, hey, this one. Uh, um, what? Would, would, you, would you ever want to go to, like, concerts or Sporting events or anything like that, Junebug? Like, does that stuff interest you at all? Ever? I mean, I'm not, I In haven't. General? I never really been to a concert, um, but a sporting event. Well, let me, okay, talking. so let me break down this. Like, like not really just the music part or whatever. Just like go into it. So it's like when you're up that close, it's it's. Li- I mean, the the opening band had the bassist on our on the side I was on, and then when Dawkin came out. The guitarist was on our side. They switched. But when the bass is on your side, it's, I mean, it's rattling. It's vibrating your body. But it's yeah. its loud. It's like the singer, it's, the singer is kind of harder to hear. But if you know the words and most of the words of the song, stuff, I mean, it's fine. Because um, you go along with the beat and the rhythm and everything. But the singer, sometimes it's harder to hear because it's all up in your face. I mean, obviously, you saw those speakers right up in my face. And those are like PA speakers. Those are... The, the amps, the amplifiers for the guitars are obviously in the back. The Marshall stacks are in the back of them. But those speakers right, you know, right there, those big blocks, those are like the PA speakers. So that's blasting in my fucking fa- I mean, it's it's loud, but it's not really that uncomfortable. You get used to it. I thought, I mean, there's people wearing um, earbuds or whatever. Not like earbuds, but, you know, the ones for sound. Earpods. 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 You know, there's a couple of people doing that, and obviously when you're on stage, this, the uh, the artists, the performers, they wear like monitors, like sound monitors um, type thing. And listen, it was uh, it was breathtaking. Were, And I missed that whole damn. Oh, we're back. It was just a glitch in the. Um, so, I missed that whole game today. Did you? Did y'all watch that game at all? Oh man, dude, I fucking I tapped out right after we got off call. But um, I gotta catch up on a lot of shit because I've been so fucking busy. Right. <laughs> You know, well, according to Sky, he probably thinks I'm making troll accounts, but I'm actually living my life. 
people. I don't want to listen. I mean, a lot of people got upset. Him, Tony got upset this week. I mean, we just ultimately, I don't understand. Like, they, I mean, people talk, is going to talk about everyone. Someone mentioned someone, they'll, someone else is going to talk about, you know, that person. That's just how it rolls in this community. I mean, and it's been like way, this. Real quick, please. This is an important speech, and I'll let you go. I promise. This is very passionate. Like, you have the choice to leave or come in the community. You have the choice to leave for three weeks, come back. You have the choice to leave for six months, come back. You have the choice to leave for 11 months like Junebug and come back, <laughs> which felt like two years. That felt like two years that you've been gone, honestly. Because we do, everyone does so many shows. Everyone who goes live, there's so many shows done and throughout the years. But honestly, it's a little emotional. I'm sorry, Dave. I forgot what I was saying, but go ahead, Junebug. What was I saying? Something about everybody has their own choice to come and go. Yeah, as okay, they wish perfect. So everyone has their, you know, no one's forcing anyone to watch. Yeah, if someone mentions you or jokes about you or says uh, uh, something that you think's wrong about them, okay, we'll go on and then talk about that then. I mean, that's just how, when you're going on a show and we're, when you're doing a show, you're doing that for a reason. You want your your truths out or your narratives or if you're reviewing clips, you're reviewing clips. You're doing a show for a reason. So no one's out here trying to kill, murder, rape anyone, okay? Um, let's keep it on YouTube, everyone. Um, but just, you know, the harassment and threats, it's just it gets too much and it gets too far, you know? And when a group of Twin Towers come together, it's, you know, Boston-Canadian matchup. It's tag team there. Boston-Canadian nightmare. It's, right. you know, want to leave that. That's leave, right. Leave that stuff alone. And I'm not telling anyone else, you know, to watch them or don't watch them or whatever. Everyone has their mind up of, if they want to associate with people, but if you, you talk about people, they will talk about you back. So that's how it's always going to roll in this community. Um, you know, I wish maybe there could be a show where everyone that hates everyone comes on and just lets it out. And then that just, that's it, you know, but, um, June bug, did you wipe your ass yet? Yes, I did. But at the end of the day, it's your choice to watch call shows, answer Skype calls, interact in chats, blah, blah, blah. It's everyone's choice. No one's forcing. Even if they're mentioning you, look, I haven't done drama. See, when I come back and do drama, I go hard, whether it's 12 hours, whether it's whatever. Um, I haven't done drama three weeks past this week or before this week. All music shows were brown. Um couple NBA reactions but I know when to turn it off and turn it on if you know if you can learn how to turn it off and turn it on and you know I still heard people mentioning me I mean Tony was mentioning me technically I don't want to get into it he was mentioning me before and then I came back into the drama whether it's a dig or not if we want to be technical then we can just use a small dig as a big deal and a big reason to come back and Talk now. If I express his opinion, express opinion back and forth, take a shit on someone's face, whatever. But it's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna turn it off now. The drama for a little bit. I'm gonna bring y'all some vlogs and some real life, some front row stuff like this. Um, you know, it's concerts and sporting events and vlogging and all that is. You know, I, I guess that's no life having no life. You know, we all need to learn how to turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, leave leave YouTube, leave the internet for a little bit, a couple of weeks, a week, a couple of days, whatever. You know, get a little refreshy. But this community is always going to be here. Um, Joe Cronin, he's, you know, he's missing some sandwiches and people are eating them and that's <laughs> fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> gluten free bread. Uh, 
Can I get some gluten, my brother? We need well, I need some gluten because I stopped eating um, so yeah, I didn't. I only got a couple clips. I didn't watch that whole show they did or whatever. But you know, people will do shows and whatever. So it's fine. I had a I had a blast tonight. I can so. I can definitely turn it off. Really? I, I did for eleven months. Easy. You're, yep. You're the new Sail Awake champion. Hallelujah. Well, listen, I'm going to have to go back, um, but I'll be watching through my toolbox. All right, thank you, my brother. So, I got you. All right, Mr. Tool, brother. Hmm. All right, let's play a little bit more. Uh, do you want me to add D-Rail Gatekeeper? No, we don't need a... What about Devious Dave Rose? No, of course, no. Okay, all right. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the pleasure we're going to die more than this tomorrow, Brown. Keith, do you want to go ahead and uh, close out the stream, my brother? Yeah, well, and then the show have.